Okay, welcome back to How to Google. This is a quick video to show you how to use uh, Gmail to send and receive emails through GoDaddy uh, or a website hosted at GoDaddy rather. So I've got Household Easy is hosted at GoDaddy and I want to send emails as cash buyer at Household Easy through my Gmail account. So how do we do that? Um, it's not too complicated. We're going to look at um, accounts you can see uh, in Google settings, I guess we'll start off by saying you got to log into your Gmail account. You're going to click on the cog and then click on settings. From there, you're going to go to your accounts and import. And you can see here that I'm able to send mail as multiple different uh, users. So I, my primary account, or my default actually, is this Mike at House Sold Easy. Uh, but I can send it as a lot of things. So here we're going to click down, and yours might be a lot shorter, but you're going to say add another email address that you own. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to set it up as Mike Slane. But we're going to see this email address up here is cash buyer at house sold easy. So we're going to add that. Oh, and that pop up disappeared on me. Where it go? There it is. We're going to fill that out there. We're going to treat it as an alias. So we're going to configure the mail. Let's go ahead and see. We've got, uh, and this is where I get sometimes a bit confused about the ports that we're supposed to use. Okay, so we got that wrong. So I guess the thing we need to mention then is that the SMTP server, we need to find that. And in GoDaddy, if you go to the email setup center, it shows you your servers and your ports. So here our outgoing server is SMTB out secure server.net. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to add that over here to our SMTP server. And we're going to use port, let's see here. So we can try 25, 465, or 80. So we've got, let's try 25 there. Now let's go back through and try what we were doing before with the right password. That will help. Okay, so we got it. <laughs> so we'll have it save it. So that's the key, know your password. Uh, congratulations, it says, so an email was sent to that email. So you need to verify this before you're going to be able to send and receive. So we can close out of that. Again, you want to make sure you're using the correct server. And let's check the inbox for this cash buyer at Household Easy. So here we see we did get a confirmation from Gmail. Open please. And they're saying before we can do it, we have to click the link or we can enter this code. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so now we should be verified. So when we go back to Gmail, we should see that email that we just put. There it is. So Mike Slane is now cash buyer at householdeasy.com. So now I can send and receive emails from this account. So if I wanted this to be my primary account that runs through this Gmail, I can hit make default. Uh, the next thing, obviously, I can edit the info about it. So if I wanted to change the name, that's where you do that. The other thing that I like to do is in my inbox, I like to have a signature. And for each email address, I have a separate signature. So I like to set that. So I would use for this uh, cash buyer should be, I guess it's not on the list yet. Let's hit refresh. Okay, now let's go down and see yeah, so Cash Buyer at Household Easy has no signature. So I would set up a signature similar to the one I use for my primary. So let's go ahead and look at Mike at HouseholdEasy.com. And put my signature down there. Now this one you have to hit Save Changes. And now that is going to be saved for you. 
So when I write an email now, you'll see that the to and from field, I have this little drop down. So I can now change it to send an email from cash buyer. So let's do a test here. And we'll send it to Mike at Household Easy. So we'll hit send. And it looks like it hit our inbox. So this is test. So we can see this email came from Cash Buyer and to Mike at Household Easy. We can test again. Uh, test reply, hit send. Okay, so here's something I forgot to mention. Um, the emails in here didn't actually make it to my Gmail account because I forgot to set something up. So they're going to the workspace email, but we needed to have them forward to this original email account, which is slain properties at Gmail for me. <clears throat> so to do that, you end up going to um, out in GoDaddy. In here, we'll find that cash buyer. We're going to edit that. And we want to select email. And we want to send a copy to that email. So then we're going to hit save. And once that's saved, now the email should automatically forward to my Gmail account. So let's go ahead and try a test now again. And I like to go out all the way to a, a non-Gmail. Let's see if we can, we still got a copy, good. We added forward. All right, so now we can see we did send that. So we'll go to our workspace email and it made it here, which is good. Now let's see if it made it to the Gmail account. In the moment of truth, and it's not there yet. Let's give it a second. Sometimes when you initially set them up, it does take a minute. Oh, test four made it through. So it did took a minute. We can see that the this was sent to cash buyer from MPS at Yahoo. So now let's reply. And you can see that it's coming from cash buyer. So test reply. And if we check our inbox. So let's check our email. It's probably yes, yeah, so our test four is there, but we've already sent a reply from Gmail. There it is. We got it. So we can see this came from cash buyer at householdeasy.com. So we are set up and it looks like everything's working.